I'm Catherine Gasto. Today I'm the face of America. Welcome for this very special episode of the Face of America in partnership with Unfold Bricks, the international art exchange event about artists, art curators, luxury hotels to make hotels a better place. art curator and an art advisor with my own company, James Company Contemporary Art Projects. And I advise and put together collections and exhibitions for hotels and corporations and also nonprofits. Both my parents were creative people, even though they worked, my father was a lawyer, my mother was a nurse, but they were both incredibly creative. I was raised in Westchester County, outside of New York City, so we were always in the city and going to the Metropolitan Museum and Museum of Modern Art. Art books were always around the house. My father was a painter on the weekends, um, and I was an artist. I actually studied painting in college. I kept going to all the other artists studios and say, oh, that's beautiful work. Tell me about what you're doing. And I think I could sell that for you. And we should put that in an exhibition. And then I realized I shouldn't be an artist. I should be an arts professional and help people to get their artwork out into the world. Hotels are community places. So having artwork in hotels reflects their local communities. It's also very aspirational, um, meaning hotels, I think, offer lifestyle feeling and or luxury feeling and you can't really have that without some kind of artwork. I mean it's expected now, I think. Art is a, it's a communicative tool. It's about communication. It's about passion. I always say architecture and design are more about the structure, a practical structure. And artwork is more about the soul of a place. So it really connects people together, I think. I don't think there's ever been a conversation around art in hospitality in this way. And for me, it's a conversation I've wanted to have for over a decade because, you know, city municipalities have a certain percent for art that they require of corporations or public entities. We don't have anything like that for developers. Um, in New York. San Francisco has it, LA has it, a lot of cities on the West Coast have it, some cities throughout the country have it. Um, there's a percent for art program for new building generally in New York, but it's not specifically for hotel developers. For Jumeirah Hotels and Resorts, when I was working with them as the global curator, I did a collection for the Essex House. It's now owned by, JW, by the Marriott Corporation. It's a JW Marriott property. And happily, the collection went with the sale because it was an asset to the building. Um, so I commissioned artists to do, the whole story was about Central Park and the location of the hotel at the foot of Central Park. So we did wonderful large-scale photographs. Um, Ada Kim, who's a Korean photographer, came to New York. We got him permits, he sat in the park and did long exposure lens photographs of two places in Central Park, which were gorgeous. Um, I commissioned painters and started to work with local museums, so I did a partnership with the Museum of the City of New York, and we did a whole exhibition on the history of Central Park from 1858 to the present, and that's still in the corridor for the public to see and enjoy. Um, I've also just recently completed a collection for the Beekman, uh, the Beekman Hotel, which is a Thompson Hotel, down in Lower Manhattan. It's right at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge, and that hotel is a jewel. It's an Italianate Queen Anne building from the late 1800s. It actually has a replica in London of the exact same uh, building and it has a wonderful history. It used to be the site of the first public library in New York. So all of the transcendentalists used to, Thoreau, you know, Thoreau and Emerson used to go and read their papers at this site. 
and then this property was built afterwards. But so I drew on the literary history of the site for the art collection, and we commissioned artists that um, work with ideas around literature, and also commissioned artists that whose work was sort of Victorian that fit with the property in some way, and also works that spoke to the beautiful local geography. So there was there's the East River, the dramatic Brooklyn Bridge, and then City Hall Park. So for instance, we have two um, works by Patrick Jacobs, an American artist, who does these inset wall sculptures. And they are incredible, I don't, it's hard to describe them, you really have to experience them, but they're two small sculptures that are inset into the wall. And if you pass by quickly, you'll miss them. But if you look into them, it looks like they're an infinity landscape. 